try ball of the Welcome back to Daybreak Extra on Trolls TV and right now we'll dive into the national dailies and as usual we'll start with the Daily Trust newspaper this morning and the major story there says investigation how Abuja syndicate lured minor for kidney harvest. Very sad story there we have riders saying 16 year old tricked coerced inside hospital we worked with a feed of it that's according to the alliance hospital lawyer in died's hospital says a feed of it's not uh, it's not the birth certificate and also the police launch investigation now this is such a really sad uh you know story here you'll find this on page five and six of the newspaper uh there is cervical cancer uh access to vaccine will save nigerian women indeed you find this story on page 26 and 27. now beside there on uh, under the news there you'd see qatar to build 500,000 housing units in Kaduna economy city, economic city. Okay, interesting one there you find on page four of the newspaper. Below there you see um, Niger, don't worsen Bazoom's health. Tinubu cautions Junta. You find this on page four of the newspaper. Emefile, DSS picks up near Sabos, Masanawa. You find this on page four of the newspaper shatima akpabio others in kano as Barrow's son weds uh you know wedding is always the right time for uh, you to catch up with friends and your allies in, in business in general yeah. you'll find this on page seven of the newspaper we have a bring soccer to um, nigerians pfn tells tunubu you find this on page 29 reintroduction of fcta's park and pay policy uh this is a good one for nigeria there you'll find this on page 10 of the newspaper and below the mask there uh it says in the inside politics anti-party pdp considers wielding big stick against the g5 you find this on page 25 and on the entertainment segment there it says Kanye wood protecting Hausa language and the culture according to rasaiki if you want to find that story you find it on page 12 of the newspaper now these are some of the stories on the daily trust newspaper so make sure you grab it okay so moving on to the guardian this morning um up there you can see what they said why young career first women are increasingly becoming apprehensive of uterine fibroid uh, Ireti, the Nollywood actress, says she genuinely enjoys her career. You know, that's, that's actually a nice mm, one yes, to find I a did. woman actually enjoying yes, her indeed. career. It's <laughs> nice. Uh, Banke Adebayo, every woman has capacity to achieve financial independence regardless of current circumstances. You can find that story on page 15. Um, the writer there says, subsidy, Imo, Abia, Inugu, Anambra, Benue, Delta lead states without clear palliatives plan. Now that's a tough one. And um, you can find that story on page two. We will leverage on gas resources for economic expansion, says Tinubu. You can find that story on page three. Uh, Pandev calls on president to address omission of Niger, Niger Delta ministry. You can also find that story on page three. Appeal court throws out Adeyemi's appeal to nullify Odo, Ododo's cap candidacy. You can find that story on page four of the Guardian newspaper. IOM raises alarm, alarm over surge in Niger Migrants Transit Center. Uh, that story is on page four. Olubadan suspends Mogaji over land dispute. You can find that story on page three of the Guardian that, newspaper. That, you know, it. this land dispute is really sad. Uh, uh, yes, about uh, people who, you know, after staying in an area for about 20 years, mm -hmm. and then people just came from nowhere and are claiming that particular that land. land and houses. Actually, like, you know, we have agents that are actually fake. But Not uh, really for, uh, for 20 years, though. Exactly. If you, you know, have a land, you, you should check so on it. 
they can sell you a land that maybe they have sold to other people. You know, you could mm. be occupying a place you won't know. Maybe the person really didn't actually come to claim the land. Mm. Maybe he, they have other lands and what have you. It's not just about land. That happens even with houses nowadays. That's true. And it's I just so saw a, a story that a, a, a woman actually lost her husband because of the dispute of land. Or is it a, Of course you would. Like, where do you start from? When you feel like you've spent all your years in your career saving up to build a house in Nigeria mm -hmm. at this time and age. It's such a sad situation. So you can grab the guardian so you can go through some of their stories this morning all right let's move on to the punch newspaper this morning there below the mask that it says echo us army ready to invade niger say defense chiefs you find this on page uh, 14 of the newspaper there uh, beside that you'll see lagos socialites apologizes and blames failed marriage for suicide attempt you find this on page 12. This story is, is, is a sad story. I was following up on it, Fatty. You mm -hmm. know, um, we just saw this socialite trying to uh, jump, you know, commit suicide exactly. and enter the Lagos um, uh, uh, lagoon. Uh, lagoon. And people were trying to draw her. And p that was when the story started coming out that she and her husband had one of the, the most dispute. lavished dispute. wedding. Yeah. Yes, lavished wedding in Lagos. And everybody was looking up to them. Mm -hmm. And it's not up to like some few years, I think. Mm -hmm. And then something happened. You know, that's about the problem with divorced. actually putting your private life out there on social media, not just social media. You know, that's why it's good to hide certain things about mm -hmm. your life because when people tend to always in, like be in your business, then definitely when disputes or you know uh, certain things happen, happen in your life, you would out. want to. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a tough one for you to handle. That's true. So, and and it, with her case, I also think it was a case of not really knowing someone before mm -hmm. you get married like yeah. people just see each other and then you feel like you, you're compatible in just some few ways and then you tell yourself okay fine i'm okay to you know, go the, it actually has to do with the mentality and the background like the upbringing also mm -hmm. we have families that actually tell us when you meet the right man you will know in three months in five months Nowadays, our brothers are telling us one-year relationship is actually a no-no. In like yes. three months, you should be able to know if this person is for you or but not. Is and it then, though? There is you need no time to get limit. to know the person. It doesn't really matter how long it takes for you to get married. I always tell myself it's better late than you know True. never. I feel the be the main problem. It's not about the time you mm -hmm. ca you caught each other before you married. The main issue is not really like expecting change mm -hmm. you know from your angle you're expecting the person to be stagnant from that person angle he's yeah. like okay i okay. need to change so when you people the promises that you've made to each mm -hmm. other right from before mm -hmm. is changing mm -hmm. then you start seeing that this is not the person i married so, and that's the reason why they shouldn't go into any relationship or marriage with a whole lot of expectations yes, ex because expectations. you will be disappointed at the no end of the No expectations, just be, yeah. have an open mind there. All right, uh, the major story there on the Punch newspaper says subsidy, marketers demand transparency as X deport cost exceeds the pump price. The riders there says federal government insisting on current petrol price means subsidy is back. That's according to the marketers say subsidy inevitable to maintain current pump price at 568 naira to 617 naira you find all the talk about subsidy on page four of the punch newspaper uh, below there you'd see i was duped by norwegian agent returned with nothing that's according to a ex midfielder okay uh, oh <laughs> As this is really a sad story. Page 22. You create a career for yourself as a footballer, save a lot of money, and someone dupe you. That is so sad. Uh, beside that, you'd see my husband shot dead in my arms over land disputes now. Exactly. That's, yes. that's the one I was uh, just telling According you about. to Widow of Lagos Chief. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you mentioned this. A really sad story. You find this on page 23. We all fight for this land, and at the end of the day, we'll lose the life and leave the land in there. Uh, beside that, uh, there is, I think, um, okay, <laughs> someone mentioned kissing actor with bad breath, a weirdest movie <laughs> experience. That's according to an actor, mm -hmm. Diva Gold. You find this on page 17. Uh, below the newspaper there, the belt says, Chinubu didn't order removal of 
all eyes on the judiciary's billboards that's according to the Arcon DG so it's saying that it is them not the president and these are some of the stories on the punch newspaper today okay so let's take a look at the nations uh, right up there you could see CBN returns BDCs to Forex markets with new rules uh, Niger ECOWAS defense chief awaits instruction on the D-Day so now we are waiting for them to give him a go ahead to send the military oh, yes there, there's Niger. been a lot of threats and pressure on the uh, military junta's of yeah. Niger with, with, the, with whole, the Germany we are coming we are ready all coming out mm. you know to support the the, the ECOWAS mm. and actually they they have a lot to you know yeah, to deliberate and, and think about they will solve it with normal you know just a very nice dialogue without going into uh no, you know blood thought, uh, last week when i saw the daily trust reporting that they are actually ready for dialogue i thought by now they would have come to a conclusion mm. on what they actually want mm. if they are going to return the the uh, um out, ousted uh, president or not at this and point you all know that if the ousted president is returning to the seat then definitely um abdurrahman Itichani and his mm -hmm. military uh, group would definitely be scared because definitely. no matter what they could be arrested Muhammad Bazoum, exactly Muhammad Bazoum is human it mm -hmm. would be hard for him to forgive or trust yeah, so certainly. that could mean that they have to mm -hmm. you know be in prison that kind of thing will scare you not to you know exactly. not to want to hand over that power exactly and then the writer there says 800 180 billion palliatives afeniferi ohanezi pandiv hills FG as NEF kicks. You can find that story on page four. Quora announces non-partisan commits to handle distribution. Committee to handle distribution. Plateau to generate social register. Intervention timely, says Ondo AG government. Um, why I was set free after arrest for coup against Abacha. You can find that story on page 21. Mm -hmm. This is said by General Onoja. So you can imagine. So now we're having people that tried coup and it and failed. They, they are actually and that's coming it, out because to say if, if you should try coup, that means you are betraying your country. That's why. So it, it's better you try, when you try the coup, you better win because if you don't, you know, you you're definitely not, you're, face you're, the You're not leaving a, a record to show that you actually took the step indeed, and you won. Indeed. And you know, coming out people coming out to say what they ha have actually gone through because mm. some of them were jailed for a very long indeed, time before indeed. they were released so it would it would scare off any other west african uh, country you know so just uh, thinking of uh, taking over the government exactly and um you could see the other stories there how dpp report mislead codes uh courts to set mother suspect free so you can imagine that one too mm. i i still don't get it how can a mother suspects be set free <laughs> i don't now know now that that actually needs investigation it does it does you a know the, one the law in that. the country needs to be strengthened it needs to be held accountable for strict. stuff indeed my suicide beat story by lagos socialite farida you just read it and we just talked about how mm. we shouldn't be putting our lives out Talking there. Talking about it would help. I mean, it, it was all because of she doesn't have maybe a counselor, someone she could share with. So it, it dipped. She Not looked really. so depressed. Not really, but you know... I For feel, you to be driven to suicide, it means you I don't feel, have I people feel, to confide in. I feel maybe she got tired of telling telling people. Certainly she would or have people friends. people weren't understanding her. You will not understand her. And she has friends that she could definitely share one or two things. And you know, we have, we have good and bad friends, whether we like it or not we are mm -hmm. always around them some will tell you or oh, do this some will tell you do that some will actually advise you to do things that could worsen your situation or to lessen it at the end of the day mm -hmm. so it's possible she didn't have someone she could share mm -hmm. um she has family you know it's even if every you can't family that you can share though. actually without without being judgmental you know african, but country will just really work? african family could just tell you stay stay in that toxic Definitely, marriage they keep so. telling you to stay yeah a notorious terrorist leader weds a 16-year-old girl. Now, this story has actually got me thinking. How is it possible? Where are the families? Where are the... the, the Must the, have the, kidnapped her. Or situations that happened in, um, you know, Zamfara, where some parts, uh, that, that's, um, 
allegations that this um, terrorist would actually uh, put a fine for mm -hmm. farmers. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I know we had and that story. They are not able to meet up. They exactly. could exactly. So they get to punish you, take something from you. So you know, any maybe particular village that terrorists take over, mm -hmm. you don't really have a say. They own the guns uh, and to threaten you to do things. So that girl's but life. I feel, I feel this is a huge crime. I, I, be, aside being a terrorist, you're getting married to a 16-year-old girl without that is not her up to, without her consent. Mm. And, and that's a, really a huge situation. problem. So you can find all these stories on the nation's newspaper today. Do afford to pick it up. Okay, let's move on to the Blueprint Weekend. From the top of the page there, it says, Outrage as FCTA compounds citizens' woes with a return of pack and pay. You find this on page 26. Now, this pack and pay uh, issue, you know, it happens in uh, a lot of developed countries. But I think why people are angry about it is that it's coming at the wrong time. It's coming at the wrong time. That's why it's happening because people are already stuck with no increase in uh, the minimum wage and then there is increase in almost everything every other aspect in life so already people are angry and you're adding more responsibility to them you know more pay so of course i understand where people are coming from i mm -hmm. hope that they could at least take a step back on this matter yeah <coughs> i beg your pardon all right let's move on to other stories there Below the Mazda, it says Joy, M O D E A B O B A S A N J O. Where are they now? Uh, someone asking uh, that question there. Uh, on that, that you'd see local equity market closes on positive notes and gains 149 billion naira. You find this story on page seven of the newspaper. Humanitarian day, insecurity. Others won't stop care for vulnerable Nigerians. That's according to. The federal government and the UN promising that you know even with the insecurity uh, they, they will still try to take care of the vulnerable Nigerians well we hope so uh, holding them to that word uh, and the major story says banditry kidnapping and others we will address rising insecurity that's according to the speaker uh, Abbas the writer there says Tinubu will deploy high tech to flush out laws uh, or outlaws in our forests, according to Ganduji. Uh, this would be great, though. <laughs> you know, people um, already, are, the citizens are saying that the government has all the power. Mm -hmm. The government know where these people are located. Mm -hmm. age. So if you don't make a plan to... Um, you know bring them out yeah. you know deal with them then that's why it kept growing before when this whole insecurity thing started it was little you know yeah. it started what so when people saw that okay a lot of people are doing even worse and getting away with it mm -hmm. then i can do mine well in, in i wouldn't say way. it was actually little you know thinking uh looking at back at when boko haram actually started it was a hit back to back you know the killings the bombings and that was where the insecurity actually hit Nigerians like the most mm. and then even after the he killed himself the that first and all that. All that. but you you know definitely there are people that will still carry on yes to with the legacy is, they wouldn't is this want about it to just do. don't start because when you start mm -hmm. it'll be hard for it to be contained a really sad one that we yeah, hope exactly. that uh, the government would have uh, you know the strength to push and and do this because insecurity is really biting us deep in our country and is affecting every every aspect of our life another writer there says 1680 school kids abducted since 2014 mm. and that's according to a report and people are scared of sending their kids to school you Certainly. kidnap kids and then or and, and keep them with you and you change these kids life for what you know the trauma the the the, the yes how would I? Put I mean, it? We, we've seen people, you know, have experience with bandits uh, to be abducted after, for two days or yes, and all, two days, yeah. and some of them go psycho. Like they need to talk yeah, to a the therapist. Trauma. Then they imagine spending years mm -hmm. over there. So they need therapy. But that's what I was asking you earlier. Does therapy actually help? Because at the end of the day, you speak, you go for the therapy, you still come back home. These people are not going to be there with you to watch you sleep. 
So does it really help? Mm, sometimes it, there's a professional, you know, process to it, and it definitely it, it's better than swallowing it up because the, you you're going to be stuck with the PTSD, mm -hmm. uh, a very sad one that you find all the stories on. Uh, the blueprint weekend now beside that you'll see economic reconstruction gas the enabling elixir in attracting the fdis that's according to tunable you find this on page four how federal governments can reduce tax burden on citizens according to experts and you find this on page 14 well, we're, we're grateful for the experts you know to just find a way to make uh, you know the whole stress of nigerians easy so that you see we didn't indict jam boss or lawyer the uh, reps committee clarifies you find this on page 17 Naira floating illegal says Falana and drag CBN to court. Okay, you find this on page nine of the newspaper, and below the belt there it says horror as thunder strikes kills tea seller and customer in Quara. Okay. You find this on page nine of it. This I can relate with. You know the rain mm -hmm. last night was heavy, heavy, and I was in bed when I had this strong. Exactly. thunder i was actually scared i yes i shivered and my thought was oh my god this is a thunder that when it hits mm -hmm. a, a tree you know that that tree is going to it's fall gone. off yeah. yes, exactly so imagine it on someone I, so i can relate on that a it's very a sad piece. story sad there story. you know for thunder to strike on, on someone a very sad story there now these are some of the stories on the blueprint weekend this morning okay so let's look at what the tribune is saying today Olubadan suspends Mogaji who sealed houses over land cases. I think almost all the newspapers are taking mm. this particular dispute of uh, land and, and issue. Yeah. Nominations open for 2023 Obafemi Awolowo Leadership Prize. You can find the story on page two. The writer there says, We have picked the D Day for Niger War. ECOWAS Defense Chiefs. Uh, the pictorial there, you could see the ECOWAS Committee of Chief of Defense Staff briefs the press on plans to deploy its standby forces to the Republic of Niger in Accra, Ghana on Friday. So that's the pictorial there showing them maybe during the meeting. Uh, every Sokoto person has <coughs> relations in Niger. And Fodio was born, but was born there. PDP chieftain says our, life, our, our ties with Niger are stronger than those with northern Nigeria. So what does that even mean? I don't yeah, understand. What they are saying is they have families that I think maybe they are intermarital. Yeah, between you know, the between northern Nigeria. Nigeria. Yes, yes. There are people that actually are married to Nigerians. Yes. And they are Nigerians are married to okay, them. And then true. some of them have, have families, actually. Well, not just yes, within Nigeria Sokoto, has been Nigeria. the closest, you know, to mm -hmm. Nigeria. And the relationship mm -hmm. has been strong all this while. So that's why, hence the reason why a lot of people do not want the bloodbath, mm -hmm. the fights. Certainly. And... Um, we have become more vulnerable with foil subsidy removal, AKT pensioners. Now, if you remember last week, we had a discussion about oh, retirement pension. and pension, how people can ac actually access their pensions after retirement mm. and all. So you can see with the subsidy removal, they are actually even more vulnerable. Some of them are literally broke. Mm. They are depending on their families and some are not even getting the help they need mm. hence the reason why a lot of people were saying okay why not the federal government instead of um giving palliatives they should increase the minimum wage and wage. ensure that every state you know pay their, uh, their pensioners because if exactly. the federal i don't know if these palliatives would reach these pensioners and at the, the end the of the day is, you know it's people never would reach prefer, everyone people would prefer to be given what they earned than for you to be giving them fish it's yes. like yes it's like giving them something little all the mm -hmm. time and they keep coming back mm -hmm. they're supposed to teach someone how to fish so give them what they are a very sad one indeed there. uh don't scrap ministry of Ni niger delta pandev wants tinobu uh three million five hundred and seventy eight nine hundred and sixty sixty six nigerians displaced in north east you can find that story on page uh, Eight, I have been a beggar since Sardona Balewa era. Wow. Okay. Oh, why is he still begging though? Is he cashing out? So that's I'm dumbfounded by this particular story. Beggar since Sardona. I was. I don't think I was born. 
Yeah. I wasn't. What, what could have happened? I don't because think my parents were even born. You know, the uh, 21st century now, there are lots of work that you could do even if you're handicapped. You yeah. know, opportunities are, are, are here now. So at this point, I know he's old, but what certainly so what kind of begging in the first place it could be it could be all those um musicians that actually seem to beg okay I, I he don't could, he, i'm sure certainly he cannot be a street beggar okay and be this old we, we really don't know but you can actually find that story on page seven of the tribune newspaper this morning and that's it for tribune all right let's move to the saturday vanguard uh, the latest story says a nigerian slam federal government uh, for dismantling all eyes on judiciary billboards and I think you know um, the um, is it the icon they actually clarify that saying that it wasn't the federal government it was the organization mm. and say that it's the beginning of dictatorship in Nigeria you find this story on page 10 of the newspaper beside that you see above Benin uh, remains head of traditional rulers and chiefs that's according to the Edo government it says the monarch uh sub creation showed the increase and not reduced okay uh, you'll find all the stories on page seven of the newspaper banks lose 9.5 billion naira to e-fraud in 2023 oh. you know this the, this the e-fraud is everywhere and people everybody can fall victim so most times um it's actually the people the customers of the bank that mm -hmm. lose their money directly mm -hmm. and i don't think the bank takes um you know credit or should i say it? i don't think they take Benefit. any uh default any fail if money should lose uh, should leave a customer's account they don't pay but shouldn't they be held accountable they don't they don't get pay, uh, called accountable so i don't understand when they say banks lose 9.5 billion they don't they'll just tell you okay we're sorry about that and this is just in yes 2023 or try to, exactly or to try to blame you for perhaps being careless with your security numbers mm -hmm. and all that and your codes and your codes so <laughs> The, they don't, it's not them it's not it's actually the customers that keep falling for that thing yeah. someone said that niger mali burkina faso guinea is the beginning of african revolution okay <laughs> you find that on page 25 of the newspaper we have Bernard boy speaks from los angeles he says music is live for me and i have to deliver well, it's all about, you know, you doing what you, you know how love. to do best. Yes. <laughs> and when you're enjoying your work, then you're flawless at, at that particular job. Yes. It's like you're doing your hobby, your passion, but exactly. you're earning you know, money it's, for it's it. It's totally a different thing if you're in the, a musician and then you decide to switch to acting. Because if you remember, Two-Face actually tried and I don't think it acting. actually really worked no, for it, him it like that. Yes. So if it's not your calling, it's not your Indeed. calling. Just when you find what you know how to do best, just stick, stick to, it. to it. And then if you have passion for it, it's definitely going to yes. be. Yes, it's like doing your hobby, like I said, mm -hmm. and being paid for mm -hmm. it. All right, and there's a picture of Uriel, the BBN star that got evicted, and Ife Kadoris. So I'm sure that there was a feature of them. If you want to find that story, you can check the Vanguard newspaper. Uh, below the newspaper there, it says, How Headers Killed Couple in Plateau School. A sad situation that you well. find on page 13 of the newspaper. At the top of the newspaper, we have Whiskey's mom dies in London. Uh, so, very sad story for yeah. the African this, star This story boy. has been trending since yesterday. I think she passed in the early hours of yesterday, Friday. Okay. So it's been everywhere, but he hasn't said anything yet. Of course, of course. You know, it's, 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 well, it's a difficult one. We should one. allow him Talk. grief, you know, the death you of, know, a, of a parent is a really yeah, sad situation. A lot situation. of people are actually losing their loved ones, you know, either mm. fathers or mothers. And so, because they are celebrities, that's why he's actually out there. Yes, e exactly. Mm. So, of course, he would be mourning. So sad, a very sad situation there for Whiskey. You find this on page 5 of the newspaper. Reinstates Niger Delta Ministry, the stakeholders tell Tinubu. You find this on page 13 of the newspaper. Brutally franked, Buhari belonged to some people, not entire Nigerians. Okay, nothing changed for good. That's according to Clark in his book, uh, you know, the Brutally uh, Frank. Now, these are some of the stories on the Saturday Vanga this morning. And with that, of course, so we have uh, to wrap up this segment of uh, what the national delays are saying. We hope that you're able to catch up with uh, the today's news.